number one Iron Age booty daddy. As Western media has seemed to follow a really bad path lately and coming up with some really, really terrible storylines, I've been trying to find something good to watch. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to admit it, I'm an anime noob, but I've actually been enjoying a lot of anime lately. Now, for those of you, never, don't let my baby face fool you, I'm actually 31. I know I don't look like it, but I, I, I bought all those Yu-Gi-Oh tins when I was a kid. I'm here to talk about Hell's Paradise today, and the first few episodes of the anime just came out on Crunchyroll not too long ago, and one of my favorite things about the show. In fact, the thing that hooked me in as soon as it appeared. So, for those who don't know, I got an anime when I was a little kid with Dragon Ball Z. And that was about it. And then obviously you had Pokemon and Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh! and all those things that were on Saturday morning cartoons. If you're old enough to remember Saturday morning cartoons, I feel you fam, I'm an old as well. But when all of those, as I got older, I got out of anime and now I have been going back to it and trying to find things that I genuinely enjoy watching. Started out with Attack on Titan about a little over a year ago. That was really good. Demon Slayer. Man, that show hits hard right off the bat with the beautiful animation. And as I have been perusing through some newer anime, some older anime, and just anime that I, I kind of missed when I was a kid, I came across Hell's Paradise just a few weeks ago. Turns out, it's pretty new. Now, Hell's Paradise, you're introduced very quickly to a character called Gabi Maru, or Gabi Maru, or I don't know how to say his name, I'm not good at this, but Gabi Maru is essentially sitting there in the first episode wishing that he could die, wanting to die, and they're trying all kinds of things. They try to decapitate him, they try to set him on fire, they try to fall him apart with, I think they're bulls or oxes or horses, I can't remember that scene. Anyway... They try multiple methods of executing this guy in some pretty gruesome ways, and none of it works. Well, it turns out that Gabi Maru didn't actually want to die because he's got a good wife at home, and he loves her. However, that was not the thing that hooked me in. You know what hooked me in is something that I haven't seen in a lot of the anime that I have checked out uh, in recent time or even over the years, and there are really only a few small characters that I can point to that actually reeled me in. Now, two of the characters that I can point to are Orphan from Sorcerer Stabber Orphan and Alucard, obviously from Helsing Ultimate. I did watch Helsing Ultimate Abridged because I heard that one was better. Or Helsing, yeah, Helsing Ultimate, sorry. Then I watched Helsing Ultimate Abridged from Team Four Star. But what do these three characters have in common? Why Why would I cons compare Gabi Maru, Orphan, and Alucard together? Well, they all three have one trait that I don't see very often, and I really, really like when characters have this trait. And that's being a straight-up badass right off the bat. These guys come out, they come out swinging hard, and you don't really want to screw with them. Now... Don't get me wrong, Orphan isn't the most perfect version of this, but Orphan does display this in the show quite well, where he is absolutely adept, considered one of the best, and now we are on a tail with the character who is starting out already at the top of their game, or quite near the top of their game. You see Gabi Maru through the episode, through the first episode, Obviously, they're trying to execute him. He comes up, there's this executioner lady, and she basically says, here's the deal, I'm here to kill you, I'm gonna kill you, and then she goes and tries to kill him, and he resists. And she's the one that points out, yeah, you don't really want to die. You say you do, but do you really? And he doesn't. But then you get to see the pure badassery that this guy displays at the end of the first episode and into the second. And my good lord, the second eps episode seeing this guy right at the end this gabi maru just go ham and eviscerate things is similar to like watching alucard look at well another vampire and say no you think you're good but you're not i absolutely love when we get to start off in an anime or in just a show in general 
and we get to see a person, a character, already at the top of their game. And we get to learn how they're going to go through these things. You see oftentimes too many anime we, that I've seen. You start off at some high school kid. They're young. They have to build up from this nothing burger into a something burger and then go throughout their journey, learning all sorts of new tricks and things like that. Now, I have not read the manga. I do know that Hell's Paradise is a manga, and I might even check out some of the manga videos out there so I can learn more about the show. But overall, that trope has been played out time and time and time again. And it's not a bad one, but a little bit of variety here and there isn't bad either. So the thing that I'm really enjoying right now about Hell's Paradise isn't the bloody violence. It's pretty good, though. I gotta admit, like, that one scene was pretty good. But it is the fact that we are witnessing a character who off the bat is already at the top of their game, is already feared throughout the land for his absolute mercilessness. And I can say this, that at least with that character type intact, it actually makes me want to watch more because I almost bowed out when Gabby Maru did that little personality flip. However, guys, I want to know what you guys think about Hell's Paradise. Have you seen it? Have you seen other anime? Because I'm an anime noob, have you seen other anime that display characters like this? And you think, dude, if you want to see a strong character off the bat where we follow, check this one out. I want you guys to drop all that stuff down in the comments below and let me know what you guys think. Tell this anime noob what I should know about some of your favorite anime out there. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell because that would be awesome. The more people here, the merrier. And never forget, every single Sunday, I dedicate a live stream to everyone out there who comments on the channel. I call it Sunday Coffee. It's at 11 a.m. Central. And I look forward to seeing you all there. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my adrinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.